many people are asking i want to become a cloud and devops expert what shall i do first invest in a good config laptop next make sure you have high speed fiber internet in your home that is a uh, very much mandatory these days and the most important point is fail and try habits don't try to learn entry point of view don't try to learn exam point of view if you want to survive in a longer run please try and fail in your own lab this way of learning you can survive in a longer run in order to make you as a cloud or devops architect you need a linux administration you need one cloud either aws or azure cloud and then you need one automation tool which is ansible in the market very popular nowadays and jenkins which is continuous integration continuous de deployment ca cd then the next one is docker and kubernetes nowadays most of the projects or companies also started asking terraform automation which is day by day more provisioning you can ease through terraform and python python you put it as a long term plan if you don't have immediate right so whatever you learn in linux you make sure you are creating small small script in python and make sure you are comfort in python because longer run we are slowly heading towards data which is python is mandatory and linux administration in linux while learning you need to have some visibility because linux and devops are more common agenda shared so scalability and enables fast software delivery without forcing a developers to compromise the quality of their code base right scalability promotes measurable and self paced growth right so linux is uh, playing a very crucial role here minimum you need two vms make it make it one vm as a server another vm as a client right so you implement everything in your own lab and practice each and every concept right so the more you are comfort in linux the more you can easily survive in upcoming technologies right when it comes into cloud right what you need to learn many people they are learning some uh, 10 to 15 services and they are saying okay i know aws but if you are looking for a long term uh, survival then you need to understand how to design a cloud right how to size a cloud if if anyone ask this much traffic for new application then how much vm people are really blank because they don't have the clarity and how to automate the cloud using a devops using a, a ansible using terraform using the aws native tool which is cloud formation right and how to automate cloud using command line each and every learning you have to prepare in your own lab and do it of course you will get some errors try to resolve those errors so that even though you are not working in your project but you can project yourself very confidently that you are working in cloud technology right already i have released 32 classes to help you to load better from your own lab hands on and next one is azure the azure also same don't go with the directly services so first learn what is cloud insights cloud sizing and data center and its related types what is functional requirements how you are uh, getting the uh, requirements from the client and what is the nfr non functional requirement and what is capex what is apex and why we need to go to cloud i am i am really comfort in my uh, on prem but why we need to go to cloud why there is a migration projects are coming in your pipeline right so at one point they are making the decision okay i don't want on prem i want to move it to cloud so capex apex and what is private cloud what is public cloud what is hybrid cloud and azure is more demand nowadays in the market please start put your effort on cloud and related services whatever you learn you compare some use cases to that particular service 
and i already released almost 33 classes with hands on with explanation with scripts please try to work on it in your own lab next one is the ansible ansible is a devops tool you can automate everything using ansible many people have a fear okay learn ansible i am i am i need a core programming skills no if you have a basic linux administration skills not an expert right and if you know what is what and from the given commands if you know how to execute that's more than enough first start before start itself don't get scared that i don't know right so in order to learn ansible you need 3 vm one is uh, ansible server and two uh, ansible client and from server you need one success that is node one success node two failure so this scenario you can apply i already released almost 37 classes in ansible with step by step with use cases and devops tools so many people they are started going towards the uh, web application if you go to any project there is a business will have some web application either form of android or web right so in order to make all uh, deployment development everything now cicd is mandatory even if it is a cloud or on prem that different ball all together but learning cicd is more mandatory nowadays right so i already released almost uh, uh, 20 plus classes please set up your lab in case if you need any help please feel free to reach out me i will uh, try to uh, resolve your issues as much i can and next one is docker those who are really not willing to go with a docker container please rem- uh, please understand that the the market is slowly going towards microservices right in uh, uh, whatever we discussed so far we need a machine for past 3 to 4 decades we are creating a virtual machines or physical machines so everything is slowly going to be removed because already the containerization is more more demand nowadays right the major advantage is if you go to container it doesn't matter which architecture you are right you only create your application with the microservices compatibility that's it the base layer dependency will be removed and another main challenge uh, removed because of docker is wherever you are hosting whatever different architecture it doesn't matter as long as in that different architecture have docker engine you can simply dock your container over there you can migration is easy and nowadays docker with kubernetes because kubernetes is a cluster right so how i can manage my container environment of course kubernetes so enterprise version is open shift and uh, open source version is kubernetes but i would say first start with kubernetes slowly start build all your uh, uh, agenda already i released uh, 32 classes in docker container kubernetes feel free to reach out to me if you need any specific use case i will create a dedicated use case for you and i will release it and of course nowadays there is a one more question why i need a terraform i already have all this knowledge please remember even if you go to uh, any project list down the daily task 80% of the task is provisioning or update in the existing server existing application right so terraform is playing a crucial role the major difference between ansible and terraform is in ansible you creating a servers or some resources after 3 days daily you are provisioning after 3 days i want to roll back day 2 whatever i created right which is possible in terraform because it's a state but ansible can remove any of the resources randomly right so in terraform uh, provisioning update and destroy these three functionality is going to be your major portion of your daily responsibilities which can be easy through terraform and another question is people are asking for python right if you don't have any storage background or core uh, linux based any automation right so 
python you put it as a long term plan but because because most of us are from infrastructure background so what i'm saying is you list down say for example a uh, uh, disk creation or user creation or some uh, uh, ec2 machine provisioning or ec2 machine provisioning with some ebs attachment or some vpc creation so all these things you list down what you are doing in cloud and devops or on prem each and every task if you have some say four steps those four steps you list down in a subtask and each subtask you create a small python script first you start with don't get a fear on programming of course python is a very good uh, uh, area to learn but what i'm saying is in order to fear first start small small task for those small task you create a small script which will give you a confidence to go inside because we already entered in data and blockchain uh, um, market right so there are huge opportunities started coming along the data so which you need to have python in future definitely will improve your resume stay tuned i'm going to start more awareness session please stay tuned please support cloud and loud cancer ngo thanks for your hand